We're going to cross then uh, live to Venice, talk to our correspondent Seema Gupta, who joins us from there. Seema, then take us um, through exactly what the practicalities of this are, can you? Yes, Stuart. I mean, it's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, it's a public holiday here in Italy. It's the classic day that you will have people coming here just for the day. But from today onwards and for another 29 days in this entire year, so over this peak season of spring and summer, uh, anyone who comes for the day has to register on a website, get a QR code and they have to pay five euros. Otherwise, if they don't have that QR code and they are checked in these spot checks that are happening throughout the city, the historic center of the city, they have to pay a fine of some 50 to 300 euros. But even if you don't have a ticket, you can stop by a kiosk that you can see right behind me here. I'm outside the train station, the main train station in Venice. And this is really a pilot project for Venice and a pilot project for cities like this around the world because this is the first time it's happening. So here to tell me more about it, I have Simone Venturini. Now he's a, a, a responsible and in charge of tourism with the Venice City Council. Uh, Simone, can you tell me why in particular target the day trippers? Day trippers is a sort of tourism that is very stressful for the city, in particular day. They all arrive at the same time, do the same street, visit the same location and go back at the same time. So it's very stressful and we need to find a new balance between the day trippers and the residents. So this is a, a, a trial experimentation and uh, I think that uh, it's aimed to discourage uh, the choice uh, of uh, the particular day for day trippers and uh, we want to know in advance how many people will arrive in Venice on that day so we can arrange the public services, the public transport, the public cleaning of the city. It's very important to know the number of people arriving. Yes, from what I understand you told me earlier, so far uh, since this morning 10,000 people have actually paid uh, using the system, the online system. Uh, people can even get tickets from the local tabaki or tobacconist as well as the kiosk behind me. But do you think is this is actually going to deal with the problem of over tourism, one of the issues that UNESCO has particularly heightened when you uh, are dealing with such a jewel of a city, such an important UNESCO heritage site. This is not a magic stick that can solve every problem of Venice and of Italy, but it's an important step in that direction. We need to enforce this, this measure with a lot of other measures. We stop, we put a cap on the number of the hotel in the recent year, we put a cap on the number of restaurants, of bars and so on. So it's very important for us to uh, enforce with system with other uh, measures. But it's a big step into this uh, goal. Okay, I understand that, but I've spoken to some residents here in Venice and they've expressed a bit of concern as to how this is going to work with such large numbers, I think you can see behind me, but also thinking about the fact that this kind of makes uh, Venice kind of like a Disneyland, that you need an entry ticket to come and see it. Uh, they also think that perhaps other measures could be used to deal with over-tourism, uh, improving the services and so on. What would you say to some of these concerns? Every new thing brings a lot of concern, a lot of curiosity around, so it's normal in Italy. Whenever you do something, you receive a lot of critics. But uh, on the other end, it's 60 years that Venice is talking about how to manage the day tourism. And in 60 years, nobody takes action. Now we are doing that, and we want the cooperation of the world on that. And we want that the people who want that this measure will work. Okay, thanks so much, Simone. I mean, that's essentially what's involved today. The hope is that even if you are not planning to stay for the day and you're staying in a hotel, you still have to register, get that QR code. So in the event that you're checked, uh, particularly at entry points like the train station behind me, as well as where the buses arrive, and even some points in the historic center, only in the historic center of this city, uh, will you be checked for that QR code. And once you have it, you're fine to visit the city as you want, whether it's for the day, and even if you stay for the night, you don't pay that five euros, but you still need that QR code. Seema, thanks ever so much. We feel very jealous of you today. It is absolutely beautiful, uh, Venice, so I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I know you're working, really, but anyway.